Right. They say train a child on the way they should go and they will never depart from it. A school in Transnzoya has decided to do just that by cultivating democratic values among students by giving them the power to choose their leaders. Ruth Sarmwe has compiled the following report. At Hilltop Preparatory School in Transnzoya County, the students have been given the power to choose their leaders. Here, the school's administration does not interfere in the processes of choosing the leaders for the pupils. Instead, they have vested that power in the pupils themselves. Just like the country, the school has an electoral board, and according to the electoral chair, the election period was just as thorough and rigorous as the national one. The first process was to advertise the, the post for the school, and we had a very tough campaign. People were campaigning, and we had the second day. The second day was now the podium campaign. Children were sending their manifesto to the voters, and now today we have finished voting, and the base candidates have won. This year's exercise, the topmost position, the school presidency, was won by a girl, overturning a long-standing tradition of boys being elected to this position. The campaign was good but tough. I thank all my supporters for supporting me through this period. I think it was hard work and hear, hearing people what they are saying and respecting everybody, small and big. For inclusivity's sake, the presidential runners-up in the race is not left behind but automatically becomes the deputy president. Uh, my message to the winner is that she had to work to, with, the, with the teachers hand with hand, with respect also to be disciplined. Michelle is promising to work with the school administration to implement her manifesto, and the management has developed a culture of ensuring leaders are able to actualize their pre-election promises by offering the required financial assistance. Prefects uh, tell the president what they want, and indeed this time they were telling us they want the swimming pool and I think it is in pipeline. Our data promises us that we are going to have a swimming pool uh, by the end of, 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 of this year. Ruth Sarmui, NTV.